in our today's video lecture we are going to discuss our next topic which is uh, called as scheduling criteria so before discussing this topic or with, uh, different criteria first we have to understand uh, for what purpose we use this these criteria so the purpose is to determine the best algorithm among uh, various defined algorithms or we can simply use it for the comparison of algorithms to determine the best among all so uh, there are various criteria uh, suggested for the scheduling algorithms but certain major criteria are first is called as cpu utilization that on the basis of cpu utilization we can say whether this algorithm is good or bad this criteria suggest keep cpu as busy as possible that keep cpu as busy as possible so in real, uh, in ideal in ideal situations it says it may vary from 0 to 100% but in real scenario it ranges from 40% to 90% for heavily loaded systems so this is one criteria which is used for scheduling uh, or determination of the algorithms best algorithms second uh, criteria uh, is called as throughput as we discussed earlier throughput is what it is a measure of work the measure of work and simply calculated as the number of processes per unit of time the number of processes executed per unit of time so the algorithm that executes more number of processes per unit of time is considered to be the good algorithm as compared to others third criteria is called as turn around time is called as turn around time this turn around time is nothing but the sum of various time periods spent various time periods spent and these time periods are uh for a process to uh, consider to be the wait to get into memory and plus we can say the process is waiting time in ready queue plus uh execution time its execution time and uh, io time so this sum of all these times spent by a process the sum of all these times is called, considered to be the turn around time so to calculate turn around time i am writing it in short turn around time is calculated as time of completion of job that at what time the job is completed for a process time of completion of job minus time of submission of job time of submission of job that at what time the process was submitted initially and at what time the process left the cpu after being completed so the difference is called as the turn around time and this is the formula to calculate turn around time numerically the next criteria for cpu scheduling is called as waiting time that on the on the basis of waiting time we can say the process is good or bad it is the sum of uh, simply considered to be the sum of time periods 
sum of time periods spent in waiting in ready queue suppose a process is went into waiting queue uh, for the waiting in ready queue for more than two or three or four times then all the times that it has spent in the ready queue the sum of all these times is uh, considered to be the waiting time of process so for an uh, for a good algorithm this waiting time of uh, of a particular process should be lesser or the average waiting time for the number of process uh, must be as low as possible next uh, scheduling create criteria is called as response time the response time is uh, is considered to be as the amount of time the amount of time the process starts executing or we can call it as the processor starts responding to a process the processor starts responding to process so for an ideal algorithm this response time should be as low as possible so these are uh, the major criteria scheduling criteria that are considered to be the benchmark for the comparison of algorithms or to determine the best algorithm among uh, various algorithms which we will discuss later that is uh, uh, cpu utilization throughput the turnaround time the waiting time and the response time so uh, that's all for to, uh, for the today's lecture in the next lecture we will start scheduling algorithms the various algorithms for cpu scheduling are like fcfs shortest job priority uh, and uh, round robin etc so from the next lecture we will start discussing all of them one by one and uh, we will perform uh, or solve various numericals based on them so till then thank you and uh, if you have any query you may ask in our comment section and uh, till then thank you